Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, we have the Yakima Valley hot box. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. And no, I did not get three of them. I got three of them over time. This was our spring. Wasn't really impressed, but it was a start. Loved the little knife. This was summer, was very excited. Definitely, definitely like summer. And now we have 2022 hot box from Yakima Valley. Got one more coming, which I guess will be winter. Probably get it in, I think in January or February, but it's okay. But yes, so I got a lot of brewing to do. <laughs> My beer fridge is turning into Yakima Valley hop cans. So let's open this bad boy up. Yeah, I did open it when I first got it, threw it in the fridge just in case. We're gonna pull the hops, go over everything we got, but this is a great gift for the holidays or the smaller ones where you get the smaller cans if you're looking to give a gift to someone who brews a lot. Even if you just order a one box, you don't have to get a whole subscription. So here we go. Open this bad boy up. First, you always get the little story about all the hops that they sent you. And then you get all the information about the hops. I'll make sure you can see that so we can zoom in a little. Sorry about the little handshake there. Yeah, is what it is. So I'm gonna pull out the gifts first. They always throw some goodies in there. I will tell you, I'm not as excited on the goodies as the previous. I love the green Frisbee. I like the cleaning cloth, really, really nice. Definitely like the knife. I've used the knife a lot. So, but there are a few things in here I do like, and I don't dislike any of it. It's just some things I like more. It's just, you know, the way people are. Got a Yakima Valley koozie. Not a big koozie fan, because I put everything in a glass, but yeah, it's nice and thick. So it is kind of nice. It'll work. If nothing else, I'll let somebody borrow it. I now officially have six caps. These are the caps that you put on the cans if you don't close the cans in, up, or use the cans up, sorry. So yeah, it's a little cap. Helps keep everything in there. But I have six now. <laughs> like, that was one of my pet peeves. I wanted eight up front, and then don't give me any more, but that's okay. Got a nice little, mm. the best beer sits here. Kind of a cool little saying. It's actually very detailed. I'm quite impressed, but yeah. It's, it's, keeps your beer from slipping. You know, the whole thing kind of sticks a little. It's got a shiny side, but you can set your beer on that. Got some stickers. Now I like the stickers. Sometimes I like the stickers better than others. And I just got to find a place in my new brew studio or new house to put all my stickers because I've been collecting stickers for years now and I just need to put them everywhere. So we have Yakima Valley hops, kind of a throwback to the 60s or 70s, kind of cool. And then this is the most basic for, because it's just black and white, but I like it the most. Yeah, reminds me of Burial, the brewery, but Yakima Valley, and just says Yakima Valley hops, brew or die. And get a little Grim Reaper with his mash paddle and a hop, really freaking cool. I like it, it's just the way I am. I got a dark sense of humor. So we're gonna pull these out. We're gonna go over each one, let you know what came in this box, kind of give you an idea of what you may get in a box. I have a little go-to if I need it, but I should be good. So first one we're gonna pull out. Yep, first one, go-to. 13.4 alpha, I can't remember, that seems a little high, but it's a Citra, number one hops. I think uh, Craft Beer and Brewing rated it number one, but yeah, everybody loves Citra. Citra is just a great hop. There's very few people I've ever heard say, eh, it's okay. But you're talking citrus, citrus, and, oh, that's right, more citrus. Eight ounces, Citra. I'll definitely use that. I know I have some other Citra. One key, and I think I've mentioned this before, is Citra hops, they show on the actual can where they came from. USA 2022 is the crop year, 13.4%. Talks about the oils. I don't see it on here, so this must have actually come from, oh, it says from our friends at Has, H-A-A-S. They tell you what farm that the hops came from. Because if you're growing citra in, let's say, Oregon, and then you're somewhere up in Michigan growing citra, it's going to be a little different. They just, it's... Uh, they're environmentally uh, dependent, should we say. Soil dependent, environmentally, and they vary a little based on where you go. Number two, Mosaic. Oh, love Mosaic. 12.2%, another one from Has, or H-A-A-S. Make sure I'm getting that right. And Mosaic, um, kind of strange. Mosaic is known for having a little citrus, primarily tangerine, lime, peach, passion fruit, and blueberry. When I did that Mosaic IPA, I didn't notice the blueberry that much. As the IPA aged, 
Yes, as it aged a little. I know it's a bad word for IPAs, but I got a lot more blueberry. The blueberry kind of started to stand out more. It was kind of cool to, you know, see it kind of evolve a little bit. And I think it's gone now. I'm not sure. I might still have a little left in the keg. I'm getting ready to kick quite a few kegs here soon. Let's go into number three. Comet. Which I've had Comet before and never got to use it. It was fresh and it didn't look that great. But this, Yakima Valley. This will be great. Comet. Citrus, fruit flavors, and a bit of funk. Now you see why I probably didn't use it before. I just, I like things that kind of stand out on their own and it doesn't give me any kind of, hey, let's focus on this, but I'll find a use for it. Comet, 10.4%, also from Haas, H-A-A-S, if I'm saying that correctly. This one's stuck, we'll call it the stuck hop. Ah, this one's the one that's kind of a unique hop and something new that I haven't seen before. 11.5, also from Haas or Haas Farm, and it is the variety, and I, I looked this up, I thought variety meant that it was a blend of hops. It appears to just be a newer hop. 586. This is hop 586, tropical fruits such as mango, guava, leche, citrus, with a slight sulfur and herbal or spicy notes. So, I'm okay with that. That sounds actually pretty good. It sounds like a nice pale ale, probably more than an IPA, just a nice poppy pale ale. Something that you can sit back, enjoy, sip. Sabro. 14.2. Bad boys kicking some alpha acids. Also HAAS or Haas. Um, from our friends, but yeah, Sabro. <sighs> Yakima Valley refers to them basically as peaches and cream. I'm trying to remember that part, but basically it's described as citrus, tangerine, coconut, not one of my favorite flavors in a beer, tropical and stone fruit. So since coconut's down the chain a little, maybe I won't notice it as much, I don't know. <sighs> Wanna love you, but not a big coconut fan. I love fresh, real coconut or German chocolate with coconut. Will Willamot, or Willamette, if I'm saying that correctly, it's USA, it's 5%. I've used something like this, I believe maybe even this exact top before, for early bittering, just something as a substitute for when I didn't have Warrior or Magnum available. But the alpha acid's very low, 5%. It's considered a mild or pleasant aroma with a slight amount of spice. So, sounds good. I think that was HAA. Yeah, they're all, I think they're all from Haz. Well, let's see how we go. Warrior, 13.4%. This was my go-to for my bittering hops for years. And it was because it was inexpensive, did a great job, and just did a great job and just didn't really impact the flavors or aromas because I was using it as a bittering hop. At 13.4%, Warrior is very mild aromas, grapefruit, which I can definitely see that from what I remember, lemon, pineapple, and a hint of sweet basil. Love basil, but I never noticed anything like that. Maybe if I'm using it a little later in the finish, but yeah, I've always used Warrior as a bittering hop and it does a great job. Liberty, I think I may have some Liberty. It's only 4%. It's from the same, they're all from the same farm. So that farm did a really uh, bumper crop here of lots of different types of hops. And Liberty is a noble character. I believe it's from noble hop lineage. You know what I mean? It's like its parents. Mild aromas, slightly spicy, floral. So that's it. I know it's not a, oh my gosh, hey, what a cool, you know, thing or whatever. But the hops, those are like staple hops that a lot of us use. So you know they're gonna get used. They're gonna get used until I blow through the cans easily, maybe even on one or two beers. And I love this. I gotta find the other ones. I set them somewhere. I think I know where one is. I'm not sure where the number three is. Once we get the fourth box, I'll kind of go over a summary of all of them and we can look at the differences and stuff. And I'm looking forward to winter, but this was a great box. Very impressed, very happy. Cheers, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Thank you for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. And like I said, cheers.